Testing, testing, one, two, and a trois, quatre, cinq. Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Guys, I'm very excited because today we're going to do the unboxing of the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition, guys. This is absolutely amazing. We're going to do this right away. But guys, do remember, go to the link in the description below after this video as you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2 with the Cyber Chair, Cyber Gaming Station with the wheels and everything. Whew, absolutely amazing. And also a third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any, any, any VR game that you want on any store unimaginable will be completely up to you as to how you want to spend the money. There'll be a fourth and fifth winner as well. So guys, do make sure you're part of the notification squad so you get notified potentially of being the winner of this competition. And it's completely free, of course, to register. So guys, let's do this. Let's do the unboxing right away of the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition. I will take some shots and superimpose them, so don't worry about that. Sorry about yesterday's video about the Dell. I had to use my phone, unfortunately, because it was just too much noise outside. And there you go. But today, whoo, we have the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition, guys. This is absolutely awesome, absolutely amazing. It's going to go very well with the Cybershoes chair, guys. Definitely going to do some cool content using that as well. With a very cool app coming soon called Hubris, which looks amazing. Comment below if you guys are looking forward to the release of Hubris. Whew. All right, so what else is in the box, guys? We have the box here. So let me just open it up and see if the cables are different. All right, so we have two controllers. I'm assuming that the controllers will be exactly the same as the current HP Reverb G2, but I will check it out and unbox these a bit later in the video, so do keep watching until the end. And by the way, guys, I was supposed to move out, so the whole place is cleared out, which is why you could probably hear a little bit of echo inside of the room, and I will get the all oh, the sound stuff sorted soon, so do be patient. All right, so now we have the big, big box. Big, big, big box. Big, 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 big box. <laughs> All right, so what's inside? So let's check out the cables. As usual, we have a port. So basically, you can put your display cable inside of here and then put this inside of a, of a laptop. And by the way, guys, we did the unboxing of the HP G7 Fury yesterday. Do go and check out that video as well. All right, and there we have all the cables. So this is the cable that goes inside of the T-junction, this one here. And this part looks the same so far. And then this is the six meter cable that goes inside of the headset and also the USB-C that goes inside of the computer and also the display port. So the box itself, which is this one here, looks very, very similar to the one on the new HP Reverb G2 V2, in fact. Very, very similar. Uh, the other HP Reverb G2 is hooked up to the G7 Fury laptop, which is not in this room, unfortunately. So, But it looks exactly the same. All right, so now I'm keeping the Omnicept until the end, guys. Now let's check out the controllers. So let me bring the controllers to you. All nicely wrapped up, guys. Make sure to wrap all your stuff up after usage as the dust is the killer. It's the killer of the dust. All right, so let's do this. There we go. Let me just put the light towards here. There we go, so we can see better. So I confirmed that the controllers look exactly the same. They make the exact same amount of noise and everything. So. No changes there. <laughs> Please, HP, change the controllers in the next HP G3. That would be awesome. Uh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. And also, uh, this part, you definitely need the Mammut grips for whatever VR headset you buy when it comes to HP Reverb G2, whether it's the V1, the V2, or the Omnicep. I definitely, definitely think you should get some Mammut grips because it makes a world of difference when it comes to the actual 
uh, gameplay, uh, you know, during, during VR. So get yourself a pair of Mammal Grips. Link in the description below. We'll get a kickback as well to the channel so you get to support us. So all good. So that's that. And then now, whoo, are you ready? Are you guys ready for the Omnicep unveiling? Unveiling? Ooh. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, V2 side by side with the Omnicep in a little while just to see if there's any difference. So guys, in the HP Reverb G2 V2, we know already that there are some changes to the gasket where you can, you can adjust the FOV and be much closer to the action. However, with, however, sorry, with those who have specs, it is recommended to use the VR-Wave, ooh, the VR-Wave lens prescription adapters. You can get a 5% discount li link in the description as well. But guys, 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 this is amazing. Oh, there's definitely a bit more premiumness here. Oh, a bit more premiumness here. I'm going to superimpose some images. But yeah, this is looking good. So first of all, guys, we have some PU. Let me just bring the light. Bring that down. There we go. We have some PU leather, guys, which is very different to the original, original HP Reverb G2, guys. This is... PU leather on the gasket, and we also have PU leather on the back here, on this part here. So PU leather on both sides, guys. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Very premium. And guys, I will do a separate video when we will do the power turn on, and I'll test it out. Wow, but it looks really nice, really amazing. The front side of it looks, looks the same. However, there is another change, guys. Oh, I can just see it now. We have this part, which is the tracker on the front. We have the little tracker there, which is, uh, looks like it can come off. Yes, it can come off. So here it is. This is the little tracker by HP, guys. And then underneath the headset is where it goes. So you can probably see it just here. Just here, that's where it goes, right there. So yeah, that looks pretty amazing. And it just literally just comes off. It's like magnetic. And then I just put it back on. Yep, completely magnetic. And then we have another sensor here, guys. On here, we have another sensor. So this is the one that takes, I think, the heartbeat, if I'm not wrong. And of course, inside of the VR headset, there are other sensors which can monitor my pupils. Oh my God, it's going to know when how I feel when my pupils are large or when they're small i mean it's just absolutely crazy really really crazy so this is pretty amazing stuff guys and i will of course there's the uh, blue filters on the lenses these are removable and we will remove them in the next video guys i will do the actual power turn on in the next video and i will remove the blue lenses i won't remove them today but yeah i'm really really excited so let's just remove the uh Oh wow, there are sensors inside, guys. There are sensors here, and there are sensors inside here. So if you look on the, on the gasket, I don't know if you can see, but basically on the gasket, there are the actual sensors that plug into the VR headset, which means I will not be able to change this gasket. And it makes a lot of sense that it's PU in this case because it means it's very easy to wash when you pass it on to people and it's more durable. I'd be very curious to know if it's possible to change the gasket. But yeah, this looks really, really cool, really awesome. And I'll superimpose some uh, closer close up shots, guys, as well, so you can see. And I'm going to use a 5D Mark II today to film the actual VR headset. At the moment, I'm using my 6D Mark II to film me, but it's only uh, up to 1080p. So I'm going to use the Mark D to shoot in 4K. So that'll be very interesting to check out the differences. Yeah, it looks very cool. So basically, um, the way you put it on, so you can see the different sensors. One is up here, one down here, one down there. So that's where basically you slot this in. And there we go. Very easy to put back in though. No issues putting stuff back in. 
as always, with HP, everything is made easy. <sighs> oh, guys, this is absolutely incredible. So do make sure you subscribe to the channel because as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing some comparisons with the original uh, HP Reverb G2 version 1 or version 2. And also, we're going to test out, of course, the facial, um, all the facial sensors in VR chat and Neos, where you can actually make facial features and it will capture those facial features inside of the metaverse. And also, if I'm not wrong, uh, when I look left or right, you'll see my eyeballs looking left or right inside of the metaverse as well. So that's pretty awesome stuff, guys. And uh, we're going to do so much content also with the HP G7 Fury. We're going to go outside to do more mobile content. And also, of course, Logitech are sending us some gear to do car sims. So we might be able to do car sims using the, Logi the HP G7 Fury as well. Like, why not go into a restaurant and do some car sims over there and see what happens? Um, anyway, we could do tons of different comments, tons of different content. Please comment below. Let me know below your thoughts, your suggestions, ideas as to what you want to see on the channel. Be very happy to look at that. Okay, guys, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to take you through a little bit of the specs of the actual HP Reverb G2. And then what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to put it on and give you my first impressions. I'm not going to switch it on, but I'm just going to put it on just to see the differences between the HP Reverb G2 version 1, version 2, and also the HP, HP Reverb G2 Omni set with a new gasket. Now, I have to say that I'm a little bit apprehensive about putting this thing on. This thing on. I'll, 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 tell you, I'll tell you just why in just a moment, but let's just go through the specs very quickly. So first of all, um, now this Headset here is meant purely, normally speaking, for enterprise market. However, it's just a matter of time before, of course, it's going to be available for the consumer. Um, and, 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 and here's what you normally need now. You need 8 gigabytes of RAM to make it run. You also need uh, an RTX 1080 at least, uh, or an MDA Ryzen 5 equivalent or higher with an Intel Core i5 or i7 Intel Xeon E3. 1240 V5 equivalent or higher as well. Um, and then the other thing is now in terms of the actual, uh, I, I will put a link in the description below for you to go and be able to see all these different things. Actually, you need an RTX, uh, sorry, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or higher to run it according to the actual website of uh, HP. Now, the other thing is the resolution of each lens, no change there. It is 2160 by 2160 and combined is 4320 by 2160. So we have true 4K resolution here per eye. So this is pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, and then the sensors. Now, this is this is what's what's potentially very cool. Uh, I'm going to go through this in just a moment. So first of all, we have Windows Mixed Reality inside out six degrees of freedom, of course, which means you can bend, you can walk, you can jump in virtual reality, just like you could in real life, but inside of the VR world. It uses a gyroscope acceler accelerometer and magnum magnetometer, sorry, uh, eye tracking with pu pupillometry, pupillometry, pupillometry. Wow, that's, that's a fascinating word. Heart rate and face camera, as I just mentioned. In terms of field of view, it is 114 degrees and it uses Fresno spherical lenses. So I think no difference there um, in terms of the, the, the G2. And then the tracking, two front facing and two, uh, two side facing cameras as well. So uh, as you can see, we have the camera. I just put it to the camera. We have one camera here. Then we have one here, one here, and then the other one will be on the other side. It's going to be very interesting to see also, I'm going to put it through space as I mentioned before, uh, in terms of the uh, tracking, whether it's the same as the actual G2 V2, because the, ca the camera tracking on the V2, uh, the version 2 of the HP Reverb G2 is much better. Well, it is, it is much better than the version one because you don't lose the tracking when you don't move. So that's pretty, pretty cool stuff. It um, also <clears throat> has a refresh rate of 90 frames per second. So it runs at 90 hertz, which I guess is okay, but it would have been better to have it, I think, for this kind of headset at this power to have it at least go up to 120, but perhaps they might be, who knows, in the future, a software update. Um, and then the cable is six meters. Just wanted to confirm that. And then, um, yeah, the tracking, you know, uh, everything as per is. So what we're going to do, let me just go to the technology that you can use with this, this VR headset because it's very different what you can do. You can do a lot more stuff with this if you're a developer, especially, or an enterprise, and you're looking to get more data from 
uh, you know, from, from the people using your actual VR headset. So let me just show you what it does. So HP Reverb G2 Omniscept Edition, uh, sensory data sensational VR. Uh, so this revolutionary HMD includes a state-of-the-art sensor system that measures muscle movement, guys. Muscle movement. It measures your muscle. Oh my God, I mean, this is so scary. I'm gonna be wearing this thing. Okay, uh, so it measures your gaze as well. The gaze, wow. The gaze. And the pupils, the pupil size. I'm not gonna go scare you in front of the camera, but it can track the size of your pupils, guys. So this is pretty incredible. And also your pulse. Boom, 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 boom. Your pulse, guys. So basically what it means is that developers can make use of all these sensors adapt it in the game so that for example uh if they were doing horror stuff it could give you more fright or less fright or it could be ai eventually so the game could tailor more towards your you know what you're more sensitive towards or also of course for relaxing kind of vr things then you know again for yoga or, or vr fitness and this then it could just adjust the game you know people could design different levels or different uh different kind of uh, hard or easy you know but Using the sensors, not just hard, easy, soft, just like that. No, it's actually going to be used all this data and be able to customize the experience for the user. And I think that's really what's interesting about using these kind of things. Now, honestly speaking, it is the future, guys. So there's nothing I can do. I am going to take the plunge. I am going to be using this headset. I'm freaking excited about it. Although I'm a bit anxious about it at the same time. Mm, HP, please don't use my data for any other reasons other than making the product better, right? Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it, it is. It, it can give some people some anxiety. Of course it can. But uh, as I mentioned, it should be fine, should be okay. It's going to be very interesting to see because at the end of the day, I believe that VR, that's the future of VR, guys. There's nothing we can do about it. It is the future, ultimately. And then the speakers, of course, are designed by Valve as well. So I will be testing the speakers. There was uh, very recently a update for the speakers. So do go to the official uh, driver link to the HP Reverb G2's website and download it if you haven't already uh, because it will basically make your headset better. So I'm very, very excited to be, you know, trying this thing and, and seeing how it goes. So let's just, let's just put it on first just to see how it feels. Let me just take everything off. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to mention guys. I forgot to mention, okay, give me a second. I also forgot to mention that there is another way of actually adjusting the strap. It's at the back here with a little knob here. So that's very cool. That's a bit like the, uh, like, 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 like the Pico Neo 3 Pro, very similar. It doesn't have the things that you pull here normally. It's all at the back. So that's, that's a big difference as well. Uh, now, the make, just to let you know, before I put it on, it is still the same as the original HP, which is plastic. And this, probably the inside foam, I would say is PU. It smells like leather, to be honest. I will confirm, but I, I, I'm not sure it's leather. I think it's more like PU leather, but just very, very high quality PU leather. It smells like leather, though, I have to say. Smells like leather, but doesn't smell like PU. It smells like leather. Probably a very, very good quality. Okay, let me just uh, take this off again. Here we go. Interesting. Interesting. So guys, when you put the headset on, just make sure that at the back it's snug against your, your bone and it's not higher than the bone. The part here should be in between your bone or the back of your head. But yeah, I can, it feels, it definitely feels pretty cool. Um, it's very different because it's a pew kind of feeling. So it feels much more, I hope that the microphone can pick me up well. I can, I can definitely see a little bit of gap at the bottom. So it reminds me a little bit of the HP Reverb G2 version 2, 
with a new gasket inside the adjustable field of view gasket. Um, but it also is possible because the gasket hasn't actually taken the shape of my face. That's possible as well. But uh, no, it feels very premium. Um, it smells very nice. Like when I went to a car show and I went inside of a Porsche executive, it just feels like it. It feels like you're about to embark on a very luxurious VR experience. <laughs> It doesn't feel front heavy, although it feels a little bit heavier than the original HP because I think it's got all the new sensors and also the gasket I think is a little bit heavier because it's using a PU leather uh, or leather instead of the actual cotton, which is generally uh, lighter. And of course, all the new sensors inside of the actual uh, gasket and also uh, and also the actual headset will probably add a little bit of weight. I wouldn't say it feels, you know, much heavier. I wouldn't say that, but I definitely feel it's probably 100 grams, I would say, or 70 grams heavier. I can definitely feel a little bit more uh, front heavy compared to the other HP Reverb G2s, version one, version two, which are extremely light on the head. You really don't feel them at all whatsoever. So guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching today's video. <sighs> I'm so excited to be trying the OmniSet. I'm going to try it right away. Well, right away, I'm going to edit the video. But right after I did the video and I post the video, I will try the OmniSet today. So guys, thank you again for your support, your comments, your likes, your reshares, because it's thanks to you that this has arrived here and that the HP, Reset, uh, the HP G7 Fury also arrived here and the Logitech also agreed to work with us. It's thanks to you, the supporter, you, the viewer, you, the subscriber. You're the one who's awesome. You are the hero of your essentials. All right, guys, see you later. Talk to you in the comments below.